like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. If you are embroidering onto garments, you definitely want to use a Aquasoft topping or a water solvy to definitely make sure that the threads aren't sinking into your material. Before I used to embroider without using it and things used to come out pretty much okay, but now that I'm embroidering onto sweatshirts and sweatpants and shorts and things of that nature, it's like a game changer, I'm trying to tell you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys that you guys have to use this stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you don't use it and what an embroidery looks like when you do use it. And I'm going to go over something important, something that I learned, which is how to take it off before you give it to a client. Because I made the tragic mistake when you use this stuff, you're going to be really, really tempted after it embroiders to just pull it off because it's kind of light and you can kind of pull it. But what happens when you pull it off is you're actually pulling on a thread and depending on what type of material you, you use, it's going to create little small holes in the garment and you don't want to do that. Real fast, let me show you guys the difference between using it and not using it. So here's an example of an embroidery design that I did without the aqua soft topping and you guys can see look at the edges of that design it still looks good but look at the edges of it it looks the edges look terrible um, if it's your first design you're gonna be like oh man this is great but then when you use the aqua soft look at the difference night and day guys oh th these are dub nation shorts by the way um they're gonna be available on the site alanaway.com I didn't put them up yet but just for curiosity sakes guys in the comments down below is this something that you would be interested in wearing I know a lot of my audience is uh, more much of a mature audience so probably not but for the younger audience is this something that you would wear um, as a matter of fact I have some on right now let me know in the comments down below so I can know to quickly list them or if I should not list them on the website I'm definitely gonna list them but uh, I'm just curious to um, who's going to buy them. Alright guys, so I'm in my bathroom. And over here we have an example of a sweatshirt that we just did. Um, and we use our water dissolvable stabilizer. Our water dissolvable topping to keep the threads above so it doesn't sink in, right? Looking real good, but we have all this plastic looking stuff inside of it. And we don't want to give this to a client, right? How do we fix that? Let me zoom in. So you guys can see exactly how this stuff works and what happens as you guys um, put water on it. Alright, so I'm just going to start running some water right here. And I want you guys to look. Hot or cold, really doesn't matter. I'm going to take a little bit of both. And I'm just going to drop it on there. Just like that. Alright. And again, if you guys know a better way, I've tried... To spritz it I've tried to dab it this is the best way that I found to get rid of this stuff just make the shirt wet just make it wet and it'll dissolve and then you just let it air dry or you can um, or you can put it in a dryer if you want and that does a trick too you know you can run it underneath it doesn't do anything right and like I said this stuff just dissolves all right, I'm going to go ahead and let it dissolve real time so you guys can see it. You guys can see the sweatshirts all wet and stuff like that. And you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You just made this and stuff like that. But hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do in business. And it takes a little bit of extra time. You just, just let it dry and then it's going to be fine. All right, a little bit thicker in some areas where a lot of it is at. But for the most part, if you notice... It's pretty much all gone now. I'm going to turn the water off and the sweatshirt is heavy now. But for the most part, if you guys will look, it's all pretty much dissolved. Got a little bit right here. You run some more water on it. It's a little gooey. Run some more water on it and it just dissolves just like that. Alright, so I'm just, it washes away. Alright, so I'm just going to run some more water on it where it still remains. And 
like I said, you can dry it in a dryer or you can um, just let it air dry. I just, I just let it air dry for like a day or so, you know. You can put it in a dryer for a short amount of time or something like that um, if the client needs it right away and that will speed things up. But again, if you look close now, if you look close now, you don't see any of it. It just totally dissolved. And you still got that clean, nice look, right? And you're good to go. So that's what I had to learn. All right, so when I make you guys' shorts and when I make you guys' pants, I'm going to be using this stuff from now on, and this is the method that I'm going to use. So I am going to be kind of like washing you guys' stuff and getting all this stuff out so that when you get it, it's nice and it, um, it's nice and pristine and nice and clean. This is the method that I recommend that you guys use um, so that this stuff can come out and you don't, you're not plucking it. It's supposed to dissolve, so let it dissolve. I can't think of any other way that business professionals would do this. This has got to be the way they, 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 that they do it. Alright y'all, so here it goes. Um, dried and everything out of the dryer. I'm going to put it on so you guys can check it out. It's not that cool down here, so I'm going to be burning up in a second. But here we go. Looks good. This is what I'm rocking all winter long. Good placement, feels good, looks good, and this will be available on the website alanaway.com. That's my goal for next month to have the shorts up on the website, t shirts up on the website, and sweatshirts and sweatpants up on the website. So that's basically it, guys. You saw the sweatshirt, you saw the dissolvable stabilizer slash topping that I advise you guys to really strongly advise you guys to really use. Don't forget to visit the merch store, alanaway.com, for when these and the sweat shorts and the sweatpants go live. Like I said, it's my goal for next month, so stay tuned for all of that good stuff. And I also got more merch coming out for you guys. I'm going to try to keep this thing going. And the goal for this year, which the year is approaching, and I haven't even cracked the surface of what I was trying to accomplish. The goal for this year was to really grow the merch part of alanaway.com and we haven't done that yet so we're going to make a charging effort for the rest of the year to um to, to do that guys um that's going to involve some social media advertising that's going to involve me taking a lot of pictures that's going to be involved with me um showing you guys new and fun designs on the site HTV designs as well as embroidery designs. So stay tuned for all that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see all those pictures as they go up. Instagram Adel Productions, Facebook Adel Productions, and thank you guys so much. I appreciate you, and I hope you found this video useful. Amazon links to what I talked about in the description down below to all the Aquasoft topping in the links down below. So use my Amazon link. Like I said, I'm Amazon Amazon affiliate. And when I make these videos, advising you guys what to buy, why not throw my link in there so I can get a little kickback, pay nothing extra, I get a little small something, this stuff is really, really cheap, like $12.99, something like that, maybe even less than that, I don't know, I forgot the price I paid for them, but like you guys see, I have two of them, but yeah guys, that's what I recommend, you guys saw the before and after pictures, hope you found this video useful, just trying to help you guys take your designs and stuff like that, your product to the next level, so thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, peace! Listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby